Okay, friends. <laughs> the craft room is officially ready. Oh, my goodness. Um, my is down there in her bed. Um, here is an overview of my craft room right now. <laughs> so... I'm super happy with the units that I purchased from Michael's with the desktop. Um, it is really great. Uh, you can take these little slats in and out and make um, larger cubbies. And it makes me super happy because there's so much space. Like um my memory misty fits in it and there's still room um and yeah so here is my craft room so first we will start with the desk there really isn't anything um much different about my desk than my last tour my last craft room tour for 2020 um it's pretty much the same just because I like the way that it is. And yeah, I have lots of organization videos on my YouTube channel. If you wanna check those out, I do have a playlist um, on my channel. So here is my computer. This is how I store my cardstock. Those are the We Are Memory Keepers um, paper storage. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're called, paper, paper storage solutions. Um, and I have them there and down here. These are all of my pattern papers that aren't with collections. And also um, some finished, this layout needs to go in an, um, not an album, but uh, my friend made this layout for me. Um, it needs to go in a frame. I want to put it in like a 12 by 12 frame. So anyways, all of the ones underneath it though are layouts that need to be put in albums. And then here are my like specialty papers, acetates, glitter papers, vellums, that kind of thing. And then these two have pattern papers that don't go with collections. And then I have my ink storage. This is my cat, all my Catherine Puller inks. And oxide inks and then a couple other random ones that I have. I have up here um, some of my October daily stuff that I need to finish <laughs> working with and then this is something else that I put together. Um, this is the first time that I was put in a magazine. Greg had it framed for me. Um, I need to fix a lot of the holes in my walls. <laughs> my daughter made that little sign for me. That was when I had pink hair. Um, here's a layout that I created a couple years ago and I put it in a frame. That was the last time that I saw my dad um, before he passed away. So that layout is very special to me. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this. This is not where I want it. Uh, and then down here, I have all of my thickers. These little things are from Ikea. They do come with a lid, so there's not many in this one. So I have them kind of laid down so the lid fits on, so they'll stack on top of each other. These are the colors that I go to most often. And then down here are kind of the ones with more of like the crazy patterns that I don't normally go to go for I guess in here I have some collections um, nothing super special <laughs> and then down here I have my um, totally Tiffany perfect paper cart I think is what it's called um, and then I have collections in here um, I like to use these and I believe that they're also from Totally Tiffany. Um, and then I also like these like folders that you can get from craft stores or scrapbook.com. 
And then I have my fray stickers in here, my um, epoxy flare, and all of my enamel shapes are in this little box. And then in here are my six by six paper pads. If you guys want to see what's in my drawers, let me know and I'll do more of a detailed like craft room tour. But I just wanted to kind of do like an overview. There's my Cricut. Um, it's super old, but it still works. So I have her over there. And let's go over here. Here's my wall <laughs> of prettiness. All my Traveler's Notebooks, um, all of the magazines that I've been in. And yeah, I got those, I think they're spice racks from Ikea. And they were just plain wood and I painted them in a rainbow colors. I have, sorry guys, I have um, all of my like totes, my scrap of totes for like crops and stuff in there and um, my printer and then all like just a whole bunch of stuff, <laughs> mostly storage containers that I'm not using currently, some vinyl, spray paint, randomness. Here is my lovely, beautiful pegboard that my husband built for me. I have a video on my YouTube channel on how we built that. If you want to check that out, there that is. And then up here on top of this desktop, um, I have all of my paintbrushes, blending brushes, spatulas that need to be washed, <laughs> um, and some sprays. And then moving down, we have my stamp sets, my memory misty for stamping, my basic white and black cardstock, and then a wood grain cardstock or wood grain paper. And then in this little container, I have all of my metal thin dies. And then down here, I put my, um, oh, okay. <laughs> my die cutting machine, my big shot, and the cutting plates that go with that. And then I really like this because this tabletop is up high enough that my little cart fits perfectly underneath. So here is my cart. This is mostly mixed media stuff. Um, and I do have like extra photo paper and stuff down there, baby wipes. And then these are all like my um, glitter gels, pastes, texture stuff. Um, and then all of my stencils, all of my smaller stencils. I do have some 12 by 12 stencils, but they are obviously not in here. So that is my cart. I'm super happy that it just kind of like goes underneath now. And I have all of this open space on the floor. Um, up here, I have my silhouette. And then below it, I have some page protectors, sorry, um, and some scrap paper. I have my watercolor paper and then my foundations paper here. Um, backgrounds, that was one that was cut from a friend. Um, and then I have backgrounds that I've created, a whole bunch, <laughs> apparently, that I need to use. Um, here I have a collection and then scrap papers and I have my watercolors down here. I have, uh, an iris container with Christmas stuff and then an empty iris container down there. And as we slowly move over, we have my waterboard that's been the same, the same quote for years, y'all, years. Um, and then I have my sewing machine here. Um, here in this top drawer, I have, I use this drawer for like, I have like bills and just home stuff in it. Um, and then again, if you guys want me to go through drawers, let me know and I'll show you guys what's in all of those. Um, over here <laughs> in the corner, <laughs> I have a foot bath, guys. <laughs> more store, like more um, tote bags and stuff for retreats. And then I have a lot of, of my retreat stuff down here as well. Like, I don't know, just random things for retreats that I do, which 
I'm not doing currently because of COVID. <laughs> um, I have some signs hang hanging here. Um, some friends have given me these signs. Um, and then I have this little, uh, what is this? I just lost my brain. Um, shelf with some little special things on it. Um, and then moving over here, I have a calyx unit. And then I also have a smaller calyx unit on top of it. And this is where I house all of my albums. Um, currently, I have some picture frames up here that I want to paint. And all of my albums. And then random things in these little things. These little storage bins. This is school stuff that I'm keeping from Emily. Like projects and stuff that she's done. Um, all of my ribbon lots of ribbon has lots of ribbon um I've got like some paints and stuff in another one um this is a giveaway basket like things that I accumulate to give away for my Patreon um I have my mink foiling machine over here and uh yeah that's pretty much my craft room guys um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and check out my craft room organization playlist. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye.